Pollinators are everywhere. They can be bees, flies, butterflies, moths, and in many parts of the world, birds, bats, and even mice and reptiles. These creatures have co-evolved with flowering plants over the last hundred million years, and this relationship has led to the amazing diversity of flower shapes, colors, and sizes that we see today. In pollination ecology, one of the most important pieces of equipment is an exclusion bag. A very basic pollination experiment involves three treatments. The control being openly pollinated. The second, the pollinator exclusion, where the flowers are bagged or caged. And then the third, the pollen supplementation, which is pollinated by hand. Plants that don't have enough pollinators in their location will have better fruits or seeds if they are pollinated by hand than when the free-flying pollinators do it. The bag treatment tells us how much fruit or how many seeds a plant can produce without any pollination by animals. It also shows how many fruits and seeds can be attributed to the local pollinators. If the plant is a crop plant with a measurable price in the market, it can be used to calculate a monetary value for crop pollination. Each year, pollinators are worth up to 428 billion pounds to the global economy for the work they do in helping crops produce their fruits and seeds. An estimated half of this value comes from wild free-living pollinators. For wild plants, pollinators are also really important because they allow for the production of fruits and seeds. These are essential for plant reproduction and dispersal. They can be used for medicines, food for people, and also be food for many animals. At the University of East Anglia, we were part of a team that recently analyzed the data from all the exclusion experiments in the world where the pollinators were mammals, reptiles, or birds. We found, on average, that when excluding vertebrate pollinators, fruit and or seed production reduced by 63%. We found that some plants are more dependent on their respective vertebrate pollinators than others. Bat pollinated plants saw a greater reduction in fruit and or seed production than bird pollinated plants. We also found that plant dependence on vertebrate pollinators was greater in the tropics than at higher latitudes. Without pollinators, a lot of our fruit, nuts, seeds and oils that you can buy in the shops will be more expensive or harder to get. But there would also be far fewer fruits and seeds in the natural environment. We know all of this because of simple exclusion experiments. <laughs>